Okay, let's start our next Let's Play. Which is... Super Paper Mario. Yep, the sequel, but... The ending didn't really affect what was gonna be in this game. And it's on RPG, it's just regular Mario style game. Oh, thanks, right, top screen. There we go. Alright. Um, these are on my old file, my old read before it broke. Uh, let's just start. Uh, hold on. A little bit too loud. Well, on my computer. Simple Paper Mario style intro. There's a toad. Of course we just take in every single Mario game, not surprised. It's Bowser, of course. There's Bowser's castle, like it looks like in Thousand Year Door, almost a Twilight Princess, I don't know why. It's a big crowd. Wow, that's fail. You always lock the door. <laughs> the front gate was open. And my Wii remote is shaking. There's Peach. And this is Count Black. One is holding Peach. I have no idea how to pronounce that word in red. Oh, he's invincible. Oh shit, what the hell's happening? He gets affected by some black. Purple void and then knocks us out. Oh, and he should. Oh, and he sucked everyone in. Damn. Even Luigi. It's a butterfly. To be a pixel. Yeah. Oh. And she takes us somewhere by flipping our bodies. The castle's empty. Woo. 
So we're some sort of part of a prophecy or something? Me? And this is flip side. It's not really connected to the Mushroom Kingdom or anything. But it's like the main point of the game, like Rogue Port and all that stuff in the other games. This is Merlin, one of the ancient, ancient ancestor people. And he's talking about that void. That thing can grow over time and it can wipe out a whole world, all dimensions in existence, what that says. And talking about chaos parts, which is like the crystal stars in this game are star spirits. And they're called pure hearts, never mind. There are eight pure hearts you need to get, you need to put them in the right. Ah, uh, I will. You got a pure heart! That's gonna play every time you get one. Now, for every heart... Wait. Alright, I know. Oh, you just, you just hold the wheel on sideways and just like that. Um, for every pure heart, there's gonna be at least be a pillar somewhere around town. You have to put it in in order to make the next door appear or something. I'll just fall down. And it's already right there. You can take the elevator, but I'm too lazy. And this is, that's the entrance to the first world. Oops. I press the plus button to go to characters, Mario. You're gonna get more characters later, but not now. Important things are chapters. This is the main town flip side. There's your level, heart point, attack score, next level coins, and time played. And that's a save block, you already know what that is, you've seen another Mario games, Paper Mario games I mean. And we get a return pipe. If you're somewhere in the world or something, you should have a return pipe to be back here. Some places it won't work, but most of it will, so just don't worry right now. He's telling us we should meet a guy in this world. This is where count collectors and minions that you'll see later on more. Well, it looks like we have a copycat in this team. And her name is Mimi, she's one of those shape shifters that can transform to anyone and anything in four people. See? Oh, 
big chicken or something? Yeah, you'll see these cutscenes after every chapter or so. This is chapter 1, world 1. The adventure unfolds, literally. So I have to find out best, whatever his name is, best to do. If you want to use Tippy, just point your remote, you know, long ways. She's like the Navi in this game, except she's not annoying. She gives you info on enemies and yourself and what you're supposed to do. Ooh, Goomba! Yeah, it's just like a regular Mario game, except you get HP and attack power and stuff, and leveling up. You jump on an enemy, shake the Wii mode, you do you get more points. You can do it in the air without, you know, touching the ground, you get double points and all that stuff. Your score, and you can't go here yet, so it's just continue. Oh, when you fall off, you just lose a life. I mean, an HP. This is the underground music that I will always play. And you get a shroom shake, it's like a super shroom. And yes, there are also live shrooms and all that stuff. But we can't get those yet. Oh, save lock. There's nothing here. And you have to use Tippy to unveil a door. Whoops. It should make it visible. You have to do that quite a few times in this game. Ah, uh, I don't have 10,000 coins. Coin. And we get a power that we use a lot in this game. Now we can flip in between dimensions. Just press the A button. When that, um... Yeah. It lets you see secrets and all that stuff. Is that bar, that colorful rainbow bar under the HP, if it goes all the way down, you lose one heart, and then it just restarts. Watch. Then it refills. Alright, now we can continue. Oh yeah, only Mario can do this move, no one else. Oh, Pal Pills. They'll basically, basically be like attackers and shields. If they die, they also take the enemy with them, but uh, you won't lose any damage. Back. Or if they fall down, they just game over. Yeah, for them. Ooh, coins. Yeah, if you get enough points, you'll level up, and then you'll 
you don't get to choose, but it will increase attack, HP, and that order and that stuff. Doesn't matter. Ow. I'm about to die already. Yeah, um, what hard to do is that if you get a card and fight the enemy, I think, uh, you, you can um, attack it with more power because you have info. So if you attack it with two, it's useful, but you don't really have to get them. Plus, I never even got all of them. Ow. Ooh, power. This will make coins drop, so you can get it. So it's part of happy power. So get the coins. Oh, and we can't go there. And it looks like we'll do this in the next part. <laughs> 